welcome back to our class don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel another disturbing question to students are in paper one of life science the development of the zygote until implantation students uh, really struggle with this uh, question but before um, this video ends you'll be able to write what is needed in the paper and then you score all the marks so development of the zygote until implantation let's get started let's first describe all the, the, the stages which are involved in this uh, process so you start with the sperm and the oocyte oocyte is uh, the ovum so you sperm with this you start with the sperm first spermatozoa fuses um the, the, the nucleus of the sperm fuses the ovum and then when it fuses it form what called a zygote so it means that here you have the nucleus of the ovum and then you have the nucleus of the sperm it's not the whole sperm entering no it's just the nucleus of the sperm that's why we are saying that haploid nucleus of the sperm not the sperm entering no haploid nucleus of the sperm fuses the haploid nucleus of the ovum to form a diploid zygote so a zygote is one cell but is diploid it has two sets of chromosomes from the the, the father and from the mother while the sperm is haploid it has one set of chromosome and then the, the ovum has one set of chromosomes so this is haploid this is haploid half plus half you form what called a diploid so the zygote must undergo a process which we call mitosis to form different cells uh, it, it undergoes mitosis uh, like one cell divides to form two two divide from four four divide from uh, eight like that so it undergoes mitosis uh, repeatedly repeatedly so it forms what you call a ball of cells so when it undergoes mitosis repeatedly it forms what you call a ball of cells we call it morula this is how a morula looks like it's like a ball that's why you say that it forms a ball of cells called morula so we are saying that um uh, this ball of cells undergoes mitosis continuously forms a, a space inside this space so it becomes hollow it means that it has a space inside so it forms a hollow ball of cell called uh, blastocyst or blastula yes so um it forms it was a ball but now the ball forms a hollow forms a space inside you can see it here see the space inside is big uh, so this space it, it it makes it to be a, a hollow so it forms a whole ball of cells called a uh, blastocyte so we are saying the blastocyte now it forms the outer layer this outer layer yes we call it now the chorion this outer layer starts to form the finger-like projection these are the finger-like projection which you call the chorionic villi these chorionic villi are the one which are very important for implantation so basically that's how you can explain it so we are saying that how do you write this in an exam uh, this palm paralyzes uh, the ovum to form um, a zygote so we can write that um, after paralyzation the zygote undergoes mitosis so this zygote it undergoes mitosis when it undergoes mitosis it has to undergo mitosis one cell divide form into two forms four four form uh, eight so it forms uh, a ball of cells so we are saying that it forms a ball of cell this is a ball of cell uh, called morula so uh, the zygote, yes, uh, undergoes, we give you a tick, undergoes mitosis, we give you a tick to form a ball of cell. Uh, this ball, you have to write it that a ball of cells to form a ball of cell called morula. So we give you a tick, a ball of cells called morula, it also give you a tick. So that's how you try to, each um, statement which is in different color, it shows that that is a tick uh, in the exam. So uh, it depends on the how the question was is set. But in most cases, if it is an open question, then it means that each color is a tick. The molar still undergoes mitosis. When it undergoes mitosis, then we are saying that uh, uh, it divides by mitosis repeatedly to form uh, a hollow ball of cell called blastula. So if you look at it here, yes, it undergoes mitosis repeatedly. So to, to form a hollow ball, it, it has a space as we explained it before, hollow ball of cell called blastula or blastocyte. So we are saying that it forms the outer layer called uh, chorion. So if you look at it, yes, uh, this ball of cells, yes, the outer layer, this outer layer, yes, this outer layer, uh, it forms this outer layer, which we call the uh, chorion. So this chorion, it, 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 it modifies, it forms a finger-like projection. 
finger-like projection we call the chorionic villi. Yes, it is a chorion, but now the finger-like projections, uh, which we call chorionic villi, are used for implantation in the uh, uterus or the endometrium. So basically, this is how it looks like. Uh, this finger-like projection forms what called a finger-like projection, which we call the chorionic villi. So this is the outer layer is the chorion. So this outer layer starts to uh, protrude out. These protrusions or the finger-like projection call them chorionic villi. These chorionic villi are very important for implantation. So basically, that's how you need to explain it. Let me just repeat it uh, once and for all. After paralyzation, yes, after paralyzation, when they ask you to explain this, don't uh, explain the process of paralyzation. We don't need to know the process of paralyzation. They want you to explain what happens to the zygote uh, immediately or what happens to the zygote uh, until implantation. So you say that after paralyzation, a zygote is formed, which undergoes mitosis. It undergoes mitosis uh, to form a ball of cells, to form a ball of cells called morula. Called morula. Morula undergoes uh, mitosis or uh, it undergoes mitosis repeatedly to form a hollow ball of cells called blastula. So it forms a whole ball of cells called blastula. It forms the outer layer called, uh, this outer layer forms the outer layer, which is called a chorion, which forms the finger-like uh, projection. So it develops the finger-like projection, which we call the chorionic villi. What's the function of the chorionic villi? It's very important for implantation. So basically, that's what you need to know, nothing else. So you just have to know that this is a zygote, this is, this is a, an ovum, uh, it is haploid, this is the sperm is haploid, the first cell is a diploid because haploid, haploid, from diploid, this is also a diploid, yes, this is also a diploid, also this is a diploid. So basically, these are undepreciated cells, they can develop into other structures. If you look at it here, uh, it's just trying to show you the 3D uh, presentation. That this is the uh, the egg, yes, uh, the egg uh, after being paralyzed. What happened? The egg immediately after fertilization. So yes, this is the egg. It it, it undergoes mitosis repeatedly to form a ball. Yes, from here to here, it is all that is mitosis happening, which you call morula. Morula undergoes mitosis from a, a hollow ball. Inside there is a space, hollow ball of cells called a blastula. Uh, then blastula, uh, yes, forms the outer layer the outer layer, which you call the chorion, which forms the finger-like projection. Yes, finger-like projection for implantation. So basically, that's it. And then, then here are some of the questions. Identify the process taking place uh, taking place at one in the diagram above. So if you look at it, sperm fuses the ovum, so it is uh, fertilization. State the type of cell division that takes place in two. You see, we talked about it. So the type of cell division is mitosis. And they're saying give two functional of uh, extra embryonic uh, membrane uh, produce uh, functional extra embryonic membrane. So you see, we say that it forms uh, a chorion. Yeah? Chorion, yes. Then also we have what you call the um, ammonion. Uh, ammonion. So uh, we have not talked about ammonion because we have not yet uh, reached there. So it forms the chorion and then the ammonion. Identify the stage that um, of development indicated by A. So A stage of development. Uh, this is just a zygote. And then B, B is uh, a morula, and then C is a, a blastula. Uh, name the part of the female reproductive system where the events uh, in the diagram above usually takes place. Uh, fallopian tube. Look at it here. It occurs in the fallopian tube. So this is how it, the sperm fertilization takes place here. So this is the development. So implantation occurs here, exactly here. So this is the ball of cells, and this is the hollow ball of cells. Within uh, a maximum of one week, this process uh, it has taken place. This is the time when a person has started to show the signs of pregnancy. Signs of uh, pregnancy. Someone is weak, someone is vomiting. This is the period. Why? Because the body is experiencing new things. Uh, so uh, we can also set it uh, in this uh, format and then we ask you what is really happening here. Describe the process, you see. So until implantation. From this point, uh, from this point after fertilization, then it goes until it reaches here. So next time you look at uh, fertilization in detail, and then I will show you how we can also write it without having any problem. See you next time. Subscribe if you have not yet uh, subscribed for the new videos.